What is going on guys? Wiser here. I am coming to you live with 2.0 Sparta versus uh, in the middle of this war versus the exclusive nation. What's going on Sparta? Uh, not too much man. Just uh, getting a little bit nervous about doing this live attack. But I'm excited. <laughs> excited. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Um, it's always interesting just randomly matching up with Exclusive Nation. This isn't the first time this has happened, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, we warded them a couple weeks back, and we lost by, like, four or five stars, something like that. So. Uh, it is what it is, but obviously it's better than those. I was saying in my last recap, it's, it's better than the farming wars. Yeah, for sure. Just because you get better bases to go against, you get to have your base tested. That's what we're all about. Yeah. All right. So enough on that. Let's um, let's kind of check out your target here. I got your Twiddler up on screen. All right. So yeah, I got this take us through crude it. drawing of my attack. So bear with me. I can't make good <laughs> circles. Uh, so uh, number nineteen. I'm gonna start off with four earthquake spells right here in the center. And that's going to give me access to all these uh, air defenses, sweepers, queen. Yeah. So I'll just start off with that. And then I'm going to drop three golems here, these three arrows up at the north. Back them up with some wizards to make a funnel. My plan is to wall break this north wall, have the golems travel in. I got a rage spell for more wall breakers because I want a double wall break. Once these golems get out front, I've got a clan castle Pekka. I've got three Valks of my own. I've got uh, 26 king and 25 queen to back this all up. I got a poison spell if the CC is not a lava hound. Uh, so all these units charging down through got a heal spell for them and the, the hope and prayer is once they get in here they're gonna just take care of the king queen these air defenses and once these air defenses go down i've got 11 back end loons and so just as things start playing out i'll start dropping loons you know here's probably where it's going to start over here on the right mm -hmm. um these air defenses are probably going to go down last so i'll have to wait and see probably get some wounds to try and take out these areas as well well you might be almost beneficial i mean kind of dropping up from this angle like once once things are moving down towards that point just kind of dropping a couple slow ones in you can drop yeah. one right on top of this and take it out in a second yeah and i just gotta watch that live you know yeah gotta wait for yeah. these towers to be shooting in you know if there's a tesla here i gotta address that but uh, it's a first attack so i'm just so got to kind of wing this part a few things we were talking about in uh in your um <clears throat> in when we were planning this attack uh is you're going to delay your queen and some a lot of people don't get is they'll create their funnel but they get everything down so fast that by the time they drop their king these buildings end up getting destroyed and i know jake calls them crumbs breadcrumbs or whatever for your king and pecker mm -hmm. or whatever you want to go in this direction it, some guys you guys got to realize there's that window of opportunity right this stuff needs to be up if you don't necessarily want it to path over to these buildings right i mean yeah so, you don't want to over funnel and drop your king too late so what we had talked about was i'm gonna hold back on my queen a bit and i'm not gonna drop wizards on these two buildings because i want my pekkas and valves to just go bang bang and then in you know, yeah these are gonna be gone if i if i had my queen take them out i mean i i'm not great with Pekka AI might walk all the way over here. <laughs> There's no so guarantee. Same with Valks. Yeah. So you know how crazy they are. Like, look, if these two storages, for example, they love those side by side buildings like that. So you have no idea. And and I, I, I think that's that's great thinking. Um, a lava hound we were talking about. The nice thing is you're you're bringing a lot of ground here. It's it definitely a, it, it's a max attack is what you're doing here, but it really is going to, you know, it's a max attack with, with Valks and a Pekka, 
right? You're relying a huge piece of that ground ground unit with three golems on to, to boot to really take out everything that that earthquake is opening. And if that happens, it, the, the, the huge piece of this attack is patience, right? You want you want everything to be patient because you just got to watch how it progresses. So what you said, you just got to watch it live. That's absolutely true. You just got to watch where the Valks go, watch where the peck is going, reinforce as it as it the opportunity presents itself, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel somewhat com confident about it just because this is such a huge base exploit with this earthquake spell getting me these air defenses it gets you so much it gets yeah. you literally everything that defends against like balloons like really in that small piece i did that because of the queen but like that is where every bit of air defense is for this base like i see what you're saying so um all right are you you feel comfortable is there anything else you want to add let me just double check my army, make sure everything's right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I probably got to reload um, COC. Yep. Yeah, I got seven wall breakers, eleven balloons, nine wizards, three valks, three golems, uh, clan castle, Pekka, wizard, and barb. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm good to go. Oh, Ryan's in on thirty-five. Ooh, above the gods. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we pause this real fast and we'll see how Ryan does and then uh, start your attack. Okay. Right on. All right. I should have just shown that attack for you guys. 98% two star. Tough one for Ryan. Uh, he was so close. Everything was down. Um. Anyhow, uh, let's jump back into Sparta's plan here. Move up to 19. Are you ready to go, buddy? Yes, I am. All right, I'm going to... All right, yeah, mute, mute your connect. shit. Wish mute your shit for sure. Yeah, good luck, man. Uh, crush it. All right. We'll be watching. I'll see you on the other side. See you on the flip side. Here we go. Sparta is in live. Alright, so Earthquake spell is down. Weird. I have to mute that. So, wall breakers are in. Ugh, I had to mute that. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, so everything's okay. He's got these extra wall breakers coming in. Boom, it worked. That's perfect. He's got a funnel created. The P.E.K.K.A. goes in. Queen goes in. Delayed exactly like we said. Oh, perfect. Poison is down. He took out a bomb. Oh, bombs are not like it matters because he's going the back end air. Everything's going good so far. The Valks get sucked over to the Queen. Defensive King is down already. He's dropping those loons in on the backside. Well, the golems are tanking. That's perfect. Peck is in there. The Valks are dead. There's one Valk left, sorry. But he she kind of goes in. But the Pekka goes right where he wants it to. So really, he's just want really needs to get these two air defense. He's looking good. Queen's full health. King's almost full health. I don't know. Things are looking pretty good at this point. Still has eight balloons in the bag. As soon as the defense goes down, Peck is going to shoot that down. He's going in. Boom. Defense is down. He better start sending loons in from the 6 o'clock position. There they come. Things are looking pretty good. He's, he still has three more balloons. Queen took down the air defense. Here they come the three balloons on this back end. I think he's looking pretty good. He's got cleanup. He's got a Valk. This looks like a three-star for Sparta, if you ask me. Absolutely a three star. Sparta just killed it. Max attack. I like it. You got a minute left. Just crushed it. Good job, buddy. Absolutely good job. Boom. 40, 47, 46, 
seconds to go here. 45. Oh, just killed it. Okay, I got to get you off mute. Sorry if you were talking. I got to do that. That was awesome. Okay, I had to mute you. <laughs> just because I was getting some feedback from... I don't think you'd hear me, but I, I don't know what was going on. But um, <laughs> great job, man. Perfect. Like, absolutely perfect. That went to plan. Gotta admit that. Yeah. That that worked. Fucking right, man. All right, let's uh let's check out this replay. Are you ready? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Going in now. All right. So, just like you said, you know, earthquake right off the hop. Perfect spot. Just took out the corner to that very last air defense chamber. The shattered worked. I like how you just said screw it, like just hold off on the queen. Like you just focused on your wall breakers. I could tell what you were doing. Yeah. You're like those wall breakers got to get through. And those buildings up north, I didn't want to go down to wizards, but they ended up doing that. Yeah, no, it worked. Like everything kind of worked. Mm -hmm. You didn't get that dark elixir drill. That was the only concern. Yeah, that's why I dropped the Valks first, because, you know, if they went in, I figured the P.E.K.K.A. was yeah. going to go in. Yeah, at least you drop a couple of Valks to go to the outside, you can wait a second and then drop yeah. the P.E.K.K.A., but no, it was perfect, and then the CC was perfect. When the CC came out, I'm like, yeah, that is exactly what he wanted. P.E.K.K.A. goes in, King goes in. I don't even think the King got a swing off at the Queen, like, she was just toast from the Valks. <laughs> I lost track of my Valks. I, I was watching. Them. You lost most of them. Um, you and only had only three. At this point, you only yeah, and you only had one left. It went between the gold storages, but it was per. I, the the thing was the Pekka. The Pekka went right to the dark elixir storage there, and then he walks right over that air defense. I got a lot of value out of those first three loons. Oh for, yeah, absolutely. You got a lot of value out of pretty much your whole army because. <laughs> Look at, like, you're 50 seconds to go in the replay, and you're king and queen. Like, your king's still at half health after he raged. Your queen hasn't raged and is just now taking fire from the cannon. Right? Those balloons were perfect timing. It's like you said. It's it's just the live adjustments to how, when the air defense go down, that's when you triggered all your back end. Yeah, and I, I was, uh, you know, filtering in some of those wizards as I saw some, you know, just free trash buildings. Yeah, I know. So that, that it's cut down awesome. time. That was good. So at cleanup, you had still had a Valk, three Wizards, three Balloons, your Queen, and a, an, an un, queen. unbusted Golem. Fucking great attack, man. Oh, thank you. Great job. I'm glad we catch this in the plan. Boom. Three stars for Sparta. Feels good. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for doing this, man. I absolutely appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I always like to feature your attacks. We'll just say that. Well, I do what I can. I do what <laughs> I can. All right, well, uh, until next time then, guys, this is Wiser with Sparta, and we're well, out. I got, I got a quick shout-out oh. before. Wait, we're doing a shout-out. Oh, yeah. I want to give a shout-out to me in the future watching this on YouTube. <laughs> what up, me? I like. You're enjoying some bush light right now. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to insert DMX outro music here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Mom. Yeah, this was fun. Have a good night.